see, this is um, your buddy over here in Spanaway, Washington. I'm out here in my backyard trying to do um, um, just vegetable gardening on this property here where I live at. So I'm t what I'm attempting to do is I'm attempting to grow as much food as I possibly can in the limited space that I have. I'm using, trying to use local resources for soil. And then I'm using the coconut husk. Here we have a Concord grapevine that's been growing extensively, so to come out here and weed, but it'll come out. You can see I'm getting some clusters of uh, Concord grapes. Well, the temperature outside right now is about, oh, 375 degrees. Here's the uh, Rainier cherry, the dwarf cherry, and here's the um, raspberry canes that are growing. I've been getting a lot of raspberries this year on these plants. Oh, you can see. Um, here's the uh, Asian pear tree. It's coming along quite nicely. I'm getting a lot of a lot of pears, uh, pear apples. They're also called. And they do print's doing quite well here. Here on my um, there's my solar power panels in the background. There's some um, apples that I'm growing. You can see they're coming along quite nicely. And, you know, planting these trees myself in this yard and then, you know, nurturing them along to try to get as much fruit as I can off of them and dealing with diseases and insects and then you got, you know, birds that come and eat the, eat their cherries off. It gets, and then you got, like, ants come and crawl on the ends of the leaves and curl them up like that. And then here it's, it's bleeding. There's blisters and it's bleeding. Um, but here's the condition of my, I'm going to transplant these vegetables here, that's a cucumber and then there's a, a tomato I'm going to transplant into that. And then inside there there's radishes and then these are raspberry canes that I pot. I dig them up in the winter and I pot them in the, and fertilize them and they grow um, raspberry clusters and I eat those. Here's the pears, there's a um, considerable amount of uh, Bartlett pears as you can see. And so I'm going to get a good pear harvest this year. There's uh, Miu. He's a cat I'm feeding, lives in the area. Abandoned. He's an abandoned cat. And here's a, here's the rescue pears that I have. And they're doing quite nicely. I'm getting a lot of these. So it's coming along on this tree. I didn't get only one or two on this tree last year. I'm getting a lot this year on this tree. Some more cluster of pears there too. And then Bartlett's I'm getting a lot up here. If you can see. Um, thanks for stopping by.